Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Well, good morning. It is the coldest morning that we've had so far this week with temperatures that are in the 30s just about everywhere this morning. Even some places in the higher elevations and the northern tier are even pushing pretty close to the 20s to start off the day. So probably bundling up a little bit more for the bus stop this morning than the last couple of days. Sealands Grove at 39, Pottsville at 38, Mount Pocono we're at 31 and Hazleton coming in right around 34 this morning. Here's our radar in the Susquehanna Valley and a little bit of a drizzle trying to make its way in to areas like Union, Snyder, Northumberland, Montour counties, the southern portion of Lycoming County, and even in some of the higher elevations, the mountaintops, even a flurry trying to mix in. Most of this is not really getting to the ground, not to say that some of it is in. So we're still going to be watching for an isolated, very light rain shower today as we take this out for a wider view and throw things in motion. Just a little bit of moisture extending back into the northwestern portions of the state, and that's something we'll be continuing to watch through this afternoon. But a majority of the day is going to be dry and just really on the cloudy side as we go through the afternoon. So let's go through future cast. There's all of that cloud cover and there's that spotty flurry or that rain shower that will be coming through as we go into the remainder of this morning. That is going to try to continue into the afternoon up in the northern tier looking for that isolated light rain shower. But notice that a lot of us don't really get an opportunity to see much of anything. And by five, six o'clock, anything that's left over at this point is on its way out of here, which is good news for the rail riders opening day. The first pitch coming at 705 will be at 52 with just a lot of cloud cover by the seventh inning stretch. We're near 50 and trying to break up those clouds a little bit more by the bottom of the ninth. It's a little on the chilly side as we drop into the 40s, but not a bad night for baseball. The good news is it's staying dry. We do have a warm front coming through later on tonight and into tomorrow, so that will usher in some warmer air starting tomorrow morning. Notice that it's dry tomorrow morning as we continue on into the day. We start to see some rain begin to approach just out ahead of this cold front. It's meeting with all that moisture that's coming off of the Atlantic. So as that pushes on through, we're expecting some heavier downpours, even a pretty good thunderstorm late tomorrow into tomorrow night. But as we continue into tomorrow night and Saturday morning, all of that moves out of here. And by Saturday afternoon, not only do we dry back out, but we get some sunshine back and it's still going to be pretty warm on Saturdays. We'll talk about that in just a second here. 54 for the high today. It's mostly cloudy, not as windy. Watching for that isolated light rain shower. We're down to 42 tonight. It's not quite as cold and it is mostly cloudy. Tomorrow that rain comes in later on in the day, along with a thunderstorm overnight. 72 on Saturday, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Sunday we're at 58. The rain will return late in the day Sunday and through Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday we dry out and seesaw between the 50s and 60s and slowly get some sunshine back. And you can always download the Eyewitness.